Mills is the entrepreneur behind Deliciously Ella, the plant-based brand which started out as a food blog and has grown into a lifestyle website, series of best-selling recipe books, chain of delis and range of healthy food products. She now has over a million followers on Instagram. My two biggest tips would be, firstly, find an unwaveringly optimistic attitude, always look for the solution to a problem as quickly as possible rather than dwelling slash worrying about the issue, find a way to lead your team to the answer to. Secondly, recognize your strengths and weaknesses, and bring on a team of people that excel where you're weakest. Remember that no one is great at everything, there's no shame in putting your ego to one side and acknowledging where you need help, that way you won't miss key details in your strategy, execution and operations and you can work together as an empowered, strong and unified group Sheridan took an unconventional route into technology, a single mum who left school at 16, worked as a runway model alongside Jerry Hall, and then retrained and did an MBA, progressing to a director in PWOC's technology team. She has recently launched the Tech She Can Charter, bringing together 18 large organizations, including Tesco, JP Morgan and British Science Association, to take action to increase the number of females taking up technology roles in the UK. Don't beat yourself up. Pretend to be confident, even if you're not, after a while it becomes part of who you are and you stop having to remind yourself. Take responsibility to make the changes you want to see. Be the ambassador for the world you want to live in and the workplace you want to work in. It can seem overwhelming at first, but take small steps and others will soon join you. Believe in yourself and what you're doing. Dewberry made her mark by winning series 2 of BBC's The Apprentice. Today, she continues to work as a business transformation consultant, and uses her own experiences and knowledge to empower CEOs and businesses all over the country. Dewberry regularly appears on national TV discussing business and politics. My top success tip is to take action. Action is better than all of the planning in the world. In life or business people can plan all they like, but the longer they take, the more opportunities they will miss. A huge part of Gallagher's job is increasing the talent pipeline into the tech industries through encouraging more women into tech and improving digital teaching standards for the next generation of tech talent, aiming to transform how digital skills are taught in both the classroom and the workplace. People can be difficult. This means that employing them, and occasionally even just working with them day to day can be hard at times. Social convention often makes us shy away from having difficult conversations about this, which I've found to be an unhealthy path to take. But if, embrace these difficult, uncomfortable conversations. Plan them in advance, get your points written down, and depersonalize wherever possible. They're never as hard as you think, and once you've done a couple they become second nature, putting you firmly back in control of difficult situations. Rosen, previously a director at publishing powerhouse Condé Nast, founded juice and dairy-free nut milk brand Plenish after she began seeking out nutritional advice to replenish her body and build back immunity and energy, lost as a result of many years spent running on empty. The brand is now loved by celebrities including Gwyneth Paltrow. Execute precisely. There is no escaping execution. In your own business, ideas are 10% of success and execution is 90% at a minimum. 
Make sure your ideas are brought to fruition with great care, with attention to detail and with your consumer's experience in the heart of everything that you do. Sing is a multi-award winning entrepreneur, lifestyle coach, author and interior designer. My top tip for achieving success is simply defining it. How do you define success? What do you associate with it? How do you want to feel? Once you've defined your version of success, create a goal plan, a vision board and actionable steps you need to take daily to reach your goal. It's crucial you spend time on personal development daily, to grow and evolve, and implement that knowledge to make your goals happen. For example for me, success is abundance in every aspect of my life. It's about living a well-lived life, consciously, intentionally and wholeheartedly. Lambert is a leading Harley Street nutritionist specializing in weight management, eating disorders and sports nutrition. Founder of Ritrition, her private clinic, and author of Renourish, a simple way to eat well, Lambert's qualified approach to nutrition and total dedication to her clients' needs has seen Lambert work with some of the world's most influential people. Be positive, look for the good in every situation and find the lesson in everything that goes wrong. Changing a negative mental attitude to a positive one can result in a completely different lifestyle. Both personally and professionally Massey is the first global digital director at Diageo. Still under 35, she leads a team of 25 tasked with making the drinks giant's digital marketing footprint as large, effective and engaging as possible. She has doubled the firm's digital investment across Europe and has introduced new tech for analyzing social media and a data management platform to boost return on investment bring passion and perspective in equal measures. Your passion will carry you further, faster, whilst perspective keeps you from losing your mind in the process. Feel guilt-free about letting your mind wander and enjoy the surprise of where it takes you. Your most creative days can be your most productive. Gooden is a digital consultant and author. For over 20 years she was the founder and owner of one of the UK's first digital marketing agencies. Now she is a digital consultant, founder and owner of Digital Detox Specialists Time to Log Off and author of Off. Say yes to as many invitations and new opportunities as you can, especially if they take you out of your comfort zone. As Steve Jobs said, you can only join the dots in your career looking backwards, so make a point of saying yes to new things placed in your path. Self-belief can take you a long way but there will be times when life kicks you in the teeth and you will lose sight of what your unique strengths are and find yourself struggling to pick yourself up. Identify your personal team of cheerleaders early on. Not the people who will helpfully tell you where you've gone wrong, but those who always believe in you and who will tell you you've got this. Just at the time when you really need to hear it Witten is an award-winning vlogger, author and online creator, with her vlogs attracting more than 45 million unique views on her official YouTube channel. Hannu is regarded as one of the UK's leading young voices and she uses her unique blend of positivity, optimism and knowledge to talk about a range of topics including sex, relationships, feminism, body image, gender and sexuality. Listen to your gut. Sometimes when you're torn over a decision, your instinct is the best thing to guide you. Don't ignore it after completing her biochemistry PhD at Cambridge University and working in venture capital, Chan founded Sparrow, a science research discovery platform, as a tool to help democratize access to science for people at every level of education across the world. 
an alumnus of Entrepreneur First, Chan was named one of MIT Tech Review's 35 Under 35 Innovators and one of the top 100 Asian stars in UK Tech in 2017. Being true to yourself can go a long way, it helps define what kind of leader, team player, mentor, friend you become. Gold Storb is the co-founder of Markets Intelligence Platform Cognition, a startup based in central London which aims to bring clarity to the fast-paced world of artificial intelligence. She's also the co-founder of Future Girl Corp an advisor to the Prince's Trust and on the Marketing Council for Founders for Schools. Network by working out how you can help someone, rather than what they can do to help you. Read the question and the answer will take care of itself dash borrowed from my granny. Now that machines are doing more of the answering, we need to get better at setting and understanding the questions core is the debut restaurant of Smith, the first and only female chef to run a restaurant with three Michelin stars in the UK. With appearances on Saturday Kitchen, Great British Menu, Master Chef, The Late Show. Their one show and numerous international demos across the world Smith is quietly building her own empire. My tip for success is hard work and dedication above all else. Focus on the end goal and don't cut corners or make excuses in 2017. Knopf was named by Business Insider as one of the world's 50 best public relations people in the tech industry and has also been named one of the startup nation's movers and shakers on Forbes. Always surround yourself with the best people. Realize that you can't do everything yourself, delegate, and trust others. If you put your trust in others, they'll always surprise you for the better Sky Sports presenter Stirk has recently launched a new initiative called Reach, to support women of all ages and backgrounds and help them to reach their potential. She believes there are too many barriers to women reaching the top of their careers. My best tip for success is quite simple, hard work. I knew when an injury curtailed my tennis dreams that I wanted to be a sports journalist. I dedicated myself to achieving that and never deviated from the goal I'd set myself. As my career developed I set up two businesses alongside my presenting role with Sky, so the ability to multitask and prioritize has been crucial, but not something I've always managed to get right. Organizational Skills can be underrated. It's all very well being creative and visionary, but being organized in the execution is vital. Gormley is the founder of Gormley and Gamble, Savile Row's first ever women only tailor. She dropped out of university to start her own company in 2014 and was last year named as one of Forbes 30 Under 30. Being in a hugely male dominated industry, it can often be pretty intimidating. But I try to remember an Eleanor Roosevelt quote, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. I'm also a big believer in self-care. In a 24-7 world we can try to keep up and it can end up being counterproductive. I personally like to tackle one problem at a time, I forget about things if I have too many mental tabs open at one time. It'd be a nightmare trying to balance work, relationships, family time, friends, eating well, exercise, and that damn chair that's always covered in laundry. It's so important to carve out time for yourself, so don't think of me time as a fallback option for when plans fall through. Actively make time for it. Jasmine is a British track and field athlete who won silver in the long jump at the 2014 Commonwealth Games. She also competed in the 2017 series of The Voice, successfully achieving Will I Am as her coach. I try and keep three things in mind when I'm striving for success in anything. 
Am I being consistent? Am I being consistently excellent? Am I happy? Consistency and excellence need each other in whatever you're pursuing, and I believe happiness leads to success, not the other way around. Hillary originally founded Sigma in 2006. When the field of UX design was in its infancy, and has grown the agency substantially since, with Sigma picking up a string of awards and a global client portfolio, including Sport England, AstraZeneca and the BBC. Hillary has been an outspoken advocate for increasing the number of women in tech, writing extensively on the subject in the past. The focus on gender equality and broader diversity inclusion initiatives is still vital. This is true not only for employers looking to build better, stronger teams, but also to ensure the work they do meets the true needs of their widest possible audience. It just makes good business sense to be both inclusive and representative of what our society looks like.